please welcome Jacinta Hunt to the TAM fam. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. You know, I think that that moment is so raw. I looked at the audience. They didn't know whether to applaud or sit in awe. Seeing that moment of a mother and child on the same cycle. What was it like for you to have those cameras follow you that intimately? I'm always curious why people do that. <laughs> um, great question. When I started filming with Jessica, we just had an idea of like a short film or a photo essay or something. And um, as time went on, Jessica, my mother and I, we all grew an incredible bond. And um, I didn't think far into filming. I wasn't sure what was going to come out of it. Um, it was difficult at times. I feel like it was more difficult for my family at times. Mm. But it was, um, it was well worth it. You know, as a person recovering from an addiction, and I know that you are sober now, each day is a challenge. And when you see these new headlines, um, whether it's celebrities like Michael K. Williams, someone I clearly adored, and others that we will never know the names right now struggling in the throes of this, at the timing of your documentary, and now it's out, do you feel the weight of the importance of you sharing your story, especially now? Oh, absolutely. Um, it really, anybody can be an addict that's not rich, poor, famous, not, um, but what's most important to, to speak about is the trauma and what leads up to addiction, how to, um, I can't say cure, but how to encourage somebody in their own recovery. And um, I, I'm grateful that my story picked out the most vulnerable moments mm. because those are what people need to pay attention to. Those are the things we don't know how to heal from as addicts. I think people are also compelled, uh, find it compelling, the cycle, right? So it's your mother and her, her struggles, then it turns to you, and then your daughter and the impact of it all on her and the fear that she will be another woman in your family dealing with addiction. How do you explain that cycle when it's not just you, it's the family? Um... Well, I mean, you, you only know what you're taught, so it's easy to pass down those traits. Um, I am going to say, though, I do tell Kaylin, I don't, I don't want her to make the same mistakes I did, and it's not because um, I'm not a good mom or I didn't make the right decisions as a mom. Um, I just want Kaylin to be aware that had I known at her age what I was getting myself into, I, I definitely would have reached out for some help. Um, yeah. Right now is the longest you've been out of prison. Yeah. How does, I mean, do you live in fear of going back? That one mistake, one bad night will land you back there? No, I don't. I live my life so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Wow. <laughs> now joining us is our close friend and director of the documentary, Jessica Earnshaw. Thank you both for joining us and continue this conversation. Just sent I mean, it is so striking to hear you say, Jacinta, heroin is all I know. That is, yeah. I cannot imagine. And now trying to raise a daughter and not have her follow the cycle. What is your relationship like now with her? My relationship with Kaylin today is great. Um, there's still things that she gets nervous about. She still um, keeps up her guard a little bit, but for the most part, um, I, I have all the access I want to her. She loves spending time with me. Um, I want to show her the world and, um, just not, um, rob her of what I was robbed of. Jessica, this documentary, as I said, it's gotten high praise. Tribeca Film Festival. I'm sure when you did it, that was not the goal, but here you are, um, with something people have responded to. But there was a point where you wanted to stop filming, that it became too much of a weight for you? What happened in that moment that you wanted to walk away? Well, um, I want to say I wanted to walk away. I don't know. I When Jacinta first um, started to use, um, I wasn't expecting that to happen while I was filming. Like Jacinta said, we were, we were going to do like a short film of her recovery. 
And for me, it was just, it's just so hard to um, witness because I cared about her so much. And um, I was just nervous that I wouldn't be strong enough to do this film. Mm. You know, I think that was the concern. But then I, you know, I think I reframed it a little bit in my mind because I was talking to a friend about it and they had said to me, you know, she's always in pain. The fact that you're seeing her in pain in this moment or it appears to be pain, which mm -hmm. she's using, it's not, um, you know, she's feeling pretty good in this moment, in this particular moment. It's not, um, that's more maybe about you, you mm -hmm. know, and, um, and my discomfort with seeing that. Right. So, um, but ultimately, ultimately we continued forward and, yeah. Like so, because that's what you're talking about. There was a point where you see her lapse back into it and use. And I live in a major urban city here in New York. And, you know, walking by people and knowing that, you know, they, you're seeing the effects of drugs. Or even in my own personal life with friends that I've had who have dealt with substance abuse issues that I've witnessed and the helplessness, that's what you tap into. Because, you know, listen, we have family members who are watching. They may not be dealing with addiction, but they have someone they love and that helplessness of seeing someone you love use in front of you or you see the effects of it are devastating. Mm -hmm. Oh, totally, totally devastating. And I think also um, I was thinking about the other day and filming this, there was definitely different like stages of it being difficult because at the beginning it was really just like, oh my God, I didn't want her to use and I, really wanted to figure out a way to get convinced her out of it. And then as you continue, you know, with somebody, and we spend every day together, that it becomes normalized. And then all of a sudden, you know, it becomes very normal to see someone use, as crazy as that sounds. Yeah, it does sound um, crazy. Because, I mean, that's like... It does. Yeah, it does. But, but you're following her and you're sharing her real story.